Well, hello, our social media family. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. We appreciate you joining in today to this first live. The main topic today is home automation and Control 4. Before we go into what Control 4 is, we're gonna talk about home automation. Home automation is technology working around a household. Nowadays, we have so many products, so many features that allow you to make you smart, your home smart. Couple of the things, we got thermostats. That's thermostats. We got lighting, we have doorbells. This is a big rack that's going into a fully control for home and we'll get to the details of this. But nowadays you have the option to go to Best Buy, to go to Amazon and purchase smart products. Um, your lights can be controlled, your garage can be controlled, your door locks can be controlled, thermostats, security, everything. Now the downfall to going with some of the consumer uh, products is that everything is going to have its own app. For your lighting, you're gonna have an app um, to log in and turn it off and off your lights. If you want to lock the door, you have to go to a separate app to lock the door. If you wanna change your thermostat, now you gotta go to a separate, ther uh, separate app and control the thermostat, right? It is, it is fun and it is exciting, but it makes things a lot easier when you can blend everything into one platform. Now, before we go dive into Control 4, the key to any control system is going to be your network. Making sure that you have reliable Wi-Fi, making sure that you have um, a strong um, internet provider to make sure that you don't have in and outs on your network. So always, before you dive into the smart home uh, technology and the smart home world, make sure that you have a reliable network. If your Wi-Fi doesn't work, some of the things aren't gonna work. Um, but let's, let's dive in into Control 4. Control 4, um, it's one of the leading manufacturers of home automation in the world. Um, we like to call it um, the, the friendly kid in town because yes, they have their own recommended products, but they also allow you to use other products. Some of your standard um, you know, retail store products like your Nest, like your Ring, you can integrate them into one platform. There is limitations on the things that you can do when you go outside of their recommended products, but they are the friendly kid in town. They're gonna allow you to purchase your own products and put them all into one app. Not only do you get to put them all into one app, but you can set up this atmosphere around your lifestyle for things to turn on at a selected time, for things to turn off at a selected time, for things to do things while you're home and while you're, while you're away. I have a rack here that's gonna be going into a home. Um, this is a project that you might have seen in some of our videos. This is um, a full blown home automation project. We're going to be doing lighting. Uh, we are going to be doing, instead of doing the ring, we're going to be doing one of the control four door stations. Took it out. Um, their control four stations can not only can they be integrated to set up with your phone, but they can integrate to play with the speakers around the house. Um, it is it does work as a intercom to one of their touch screens or your phones. And then uh, this house, it is going to have a strong network. All this stuff that you see up here is for their network, their router, their switches, their POE switches for things that are gonna be powered over internet. We have their main switch that's basically going to control everything in the house. And then we have this bad boy, which is the Core 5. With Control 4, you have different controllers. You have an entry level controller, which is the Core 1, which uh, may have one around here. I'll bring it out in a second. Their single room controller, um, they have a Core 3, which is more of a medium size project that is going to allow you to integrate more products, uh, more zones of audio, uh, more features, more things, and then you have their Core 5. This is, there is a bigger one than this, but that's basically for specialty projects. This Core 5 um, allows you to integrate anything and everything. It has audio outputs. Control 4 also has their streaming platform that is going to allow you to play your Pandora, your Spotify, your AirPlay. The biggest streaming platforms are actually built into the controller so you can keep everything under one app. Um, it also has integration with IP. So all of your devices that are on the network, your receivers, your Sonos products, your doorbells, your thermostat, all that stuff that's just on the network 
It allows you to connect to it and control it. From there, you have your standard IR products like your cable box, your DVD, some televisions. Uh, they don't have smart technology. They're still uh, IR control. So it does have IR outputs to be able to control those devices. Um, and I'll show you the interfaces and how it works in a second. But I just wanted to give you a rundown on what it does. It does have triggers and relays. Um, that's for specialty things if you're going to be integrating your garage, if you're going to be integrating a gate, um, if you're going to be integrating certain things that are not on the network and don't have IR control, this will give you the option to do that. Um, if you've seen TVs come down from the ceiling, it was because of this. If you've seen some of the projects that we've done where televisions are coming from a, uh, a built-in cabinet or the foot of the bed, the triggers and relays on this bad boy is what makes that happen. From there, you go into power management. Um, they do have their own audio products for um, home distribution and audio distribution. But this is the core. Now, this is the brains of the operation, but how do you control it? Uh, with Control 4, you have different interfaces in, to control the system. They go anywhere from a simple remote. Let me get a little closer. With this remote, you do have the option to basically control the entire house. So your thermostats, uh, your lights, your TVs, everything can be controlled from here. This is dedicated. This is meant to be used more of a, as a single room controller. This is the SR260. This is basically their entry level remote. This remote is dedicated to use in a single room, um, more of a universal remote, right? For your AV products. From there, um, they do have nicer remotes. They have touchscreen remotes. They have their EOS that just came out. All of the ones that we have are already in clients. Uh, we have some more on the way, but I didn't have one ready for today's live. Um, but there is different ways to control your home. From there, they do make their own touchscreens. Now, this right here is more of a, of a full home controller. This is going to allow you, and this one here is controlling the office. But from here, you'll be able to see every room in the house. Um, you have the option to control what's on the television, what you listen to, the lighting, um, your shortcuts, your security, your history. You get to see who came in the house at what time, uh, the user codes. We do have shortcuts that you can create your thermostat. So this is more of a robust full home uh, interface. Some of the stuff that you can do with this, I don't know if you can hear the music playing back there. Um, this is going to allow you to control the entire house. Not only that, but this right here, I'll get a little closer. There's a camera up here. This can also be used as an intercom. This is, um, this is their T3. This is their older model. Newer models have came out after this one. Uh, but there is a bigger version that would come in different colors. But this can be used as a controller, but it can also be used as an intercom to allow you to talk. When someone rings at the door, if you have multiple of these, you can page different rooms, different rooms in the house. Uh, if someone's in the master bedroom and you wanna page them, from here, you'll be able to page them. You can turn on and off the camera to make it just a voice intercom, and you can also make it a video intercom. Control 4 does have the option um, for you to download it into your cell phone or your iPad. There is certain limitations when you do it with the iPad. Some of the intercom options that we discussed later, earlier, um, are not integrated into the iPad, uh, but from the iPad, you do have the same features. The same interface can be found on the iPad. We're logged in uh, as we're testing to one of the cabinets in here. So we do, one of the things that we do here is all of these systems, as you can see, get set up and pre-tested and pre-designed before we take them into a home. Um, so this is for the rack that's in there. Um, I won't be able to click anything because it's not integrated into the system, but with the iPad, you do have the same options. Once again, you can go into the different rooms of audio, the different rooms of video, and you can control everything from here. The only thing that you don't, or one of the things that you miss from the iPad is that intercom feature that we discussed earlier. Um, you can integrate it into your phone. Um, and it also has the option to actually send that same interface into the television. So, uh, and I'll take y'all into a home on one of the next lives. 
um, so you can see. But basically, we can make your television at home do the same exact thing. We can make the TV look just like this. And from the television, you'll be able to control everything in the house. Um, control 4 has been in the industry for a long time. Not only that, but the reason we believe in it and we push it so much, they're a growing company. They believe in their product and they never stop working on their product. We have been awarded, we are a platinum dealer for Sony, for Samsung, uh, for Control 4. We do a lot of Control 4 projects and we believe in the product. Uh, we've seen it improve throughout the years since we brought it on as a line. Uh, it is our main home automation line. Um, so we believe in it. We do have other options, but this is the this is a, a product that can fit any lifestyle from a single media room uh, where you just want to control the projector, the screen, the cable box, your AVR, to a full, full, full home automation 